I think for me, it goes down to the coaches, the seriousness of themselves in, in, in leading a team, in leading these young boys. Because if you stand there as a coach and then you allow what these boys are doing, and you get a player that gets the ball, he slips, literally slips, and the old play, all the city teams of players that play, said to slip. I mean, that's disrespecting the game itself. You know, we can have jokes, we can have all of this, but what was happening in the morning, I think it's something that I, can tolerate, I cannot tolerate. And I think it goes to the coaches that are leading those teams, you know, and that's what, that, that doesn't sit well with me, because we want to add talent. You want to see the next headman in Kelly, the next Jerry Scorsada, the next Paul and Dania. This is where we come from. So let's respect the game and make sure that anybody who's seated out there with the opportunity of being broadcast live, people watch and they want to look for that player, but if they see what they see here, they'll just tell you we don't want to waste our time because there is nothing that you'll get when football is played like this. I think we need to go back to the development side of it. What, what do we do with development? You know, coaches that we, we choose to look after our clubs. What is it that we want from them? Because we normally talk about development, but I don't see development. Yeah. Yeah, this is why we no longer have quality players, because we now want to concentrate on show voting than to play the game itself.